Hey everybody, welcome back to Sam Cam Do. I'm a mom, I'm a maker, and what the heck is happening on the internet today? Glowforge has a new laser and you can just buy it. It's all out and you can just buy it. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I am not just a person who does crafts on a laser. I was the original. I was of the group of the original Kickstarter buyers who put in the money and I don't know if you know, it was quite the escándalo when it came out because it took a long time for us to get it. There was dates, it got pushed back, it got pushed back. And so having such a big launch, because this is like a whole new product. This isn't an air filter, this isn't an addition. This is a new product. What is going to work for you? What's going to be better? Uh, I can't imagine being able to look at it, make a decision today to buy it, but um, I'm making that decision today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first, I have stopped myself from watching the video about it. I'm going to watch the video, react to it, and then at the end of the video, which Colin will timestamp, I will let you know pros and cons, what I think, and what I think is the best for you. Now, let me get this out of the way because there's a lot of Glowforge haters. This is not a laser for everyone, and this isn't a laser for the people looking for the can you do like epic fire, like most powerful lasers? Like this isn't for the epic dude laser. It's for an accessible laser. The reason I don't want some big machine is because I'm not a quantity producer. I am a agility. I need something done quickly, but a cricket is not enough for me. I don't have a garage. I can't get a CNC machine. My animals are having a good time. Let's go ahead and watch this uh, little trailer situation and see how we feel. Animals. What if you could create anything? There's still an air filter. Light. This is Glowforge Aura, your personal craft laser. Your Glowforge Aura goes anywhere in your home. Plug it in, connect, and push the button. The laser can cut, score, and engrave to create everything you need. It's joyful creations that transform the space around you. Piece by piece, with just a click. Draw, take a photo, or choose a file and drag it into place. The laser does its magic with a beam of light, the width of a hair, working with acrylic, paper, woods, or metals to reimagine your home. It's not just about creation, it's about making something truly yours. Watch your memories move from your photo album into your world. Any object in your life transforms into an object of desire. Engraving the iPad. They always do it a bit, engraving the iPad. Listen, you can do that shit. But I'm not putting my computer in there. Uh, there's a lot of people that do. But th there's lots of things to engrave in the world. The iPad isn't like my first thought, but I think it's just a flash of gimmick. Too. The beam of light dances, bringing your vision to life. This is giving Nicole Kidman AMC. We come to the movies for something, for something better. Put a clip of it. They'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> A screenshot. Wow, a mandala on your iPad. We can furnish our homes with meaning, purpose, and fun. That's actually really cute. We deserve the dreams we imagine. And the things we use every day should reflect our lives. We craft for ourselves, and we craft for the people we love. Because sharing our craft brings us joy. We should live in a world that we make for ourselves, everything in its place. Every moment is special. Every day, an adventure. Cross the world you want to live in. The cinematic journey didn't have to go this hard, Jesus. Welcome Glowforge Aura into your home. Okay, so it's smaller. It's more portable. That's the vibe that it seems. Okay, let me tell you first off, I'm going to give you my raw, uneducated opinion. I have not looked up the details. We're gonna go look up the specs right now. We're gonna go to shop. Ah, dot glowforge.com. Also, they just came out with Eco Iron On for clothes. And did your girl buy it? Yes, I did. Is it coming in the mail? Yes, it is. And we will teach you how to use it. Um, okay. Let's look at these specs. Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. 
No one's asking you for answers, Alexa. So this is the deal. You can't buy it online. So uh, my referral is uh, you can't. It can't even help you. But this is this is my honest feedback. It looks like a really great competitor to a cricket. The only thing that I'm thinking is the when I saw this, I jumped out of my seat because I thought it was an air filterless system. It looked really small, like you pick it up, put it down, but it still has a big clunky air filter behind it. I have the Glowforge Basic. I bought it in the beginning. I do like the machine. I love it. I still use it. I use it all the time. It's my favorite party trick. I do businesses, prototypes. You can see my channel. I've been using it a long time, but I'm already annoyed at how small the tray is. So you're telling me I, now with the price, it's a lot more accessible. You can only buy it in store. So if this is something that you want for this amount of cost, I don't know. I, and again, I'm not going to compare these to other lasers because a lot of other lasers are going to have you have more difficult programs, things like this. I was attracted to the Glowforge. You know, people like, I don't even um, know what the Inventables types lasers and CNC machines take those programs, but I heard amazing things about those companies. That was kind of the thing I was looking at, the X-Car versus the Glowforge when I was first looking at Kickstarter and trying to get into the, what kind of craft laser machine do I want? So number one, is Glowforge ever going to be the most powerful laser you can buy? No. Is it going to be one of the easiest to use? Yes. I will tell you though, when they first rolled out Kickstarter and they released that first round of Glowforges, there was a ton of issues. So I don't know if with this new product, they're going to have those issues or if they figured it out and they've made this like tiny little sporty go-getter machine. Um, I think you might be frustrated with the size versus the air filter need. Now the air filter does not come with it. You have to add that on. So after the 1100, you're looking at about 1500. That being said, you could vent it out a window. If you have a window, if you have a really tiny space, but you have a little tiny window, it would work for you. These are my first thoughts, but I have not seen this bad boy in action. Do you think I should buy one? Do you think I should test one out and see what it actually looks like? Um, if you have one, please comment down below what you think. This is very interesting. I have not seen, I think this is the first new product since Glowforge has launched with the original Pro and Basic. Maybe the Plus was like an in-between, but it looks the exact same. It does a lot of the same things. I think it just has a little bit of an upgraded laser. Very interested to see what people respond to say. Um, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. Again, this is for someone who needs agility. They do not have a lot of space. If you have enough space for a table, and I'll show you how big um, the dimensions of the regular one, like... So just an update, which I'm very sorry that the uh, audio file was corrupted and that you have to listen to the camera audio on the rest of this, but they are getting rid of, rid of the basic model of the Glowforge in general. This is the new basic model, which let's go over some stats for you. I, again, have a thing, um, but right here, the cut speed is one times, which I think is a standard, what they used to call standard speed. Um, but this is only a, uh, what do you call it? This is only a, s how many watts? Six. Six watt laser? The, uh, the one that I have, the 40, the basic is 40. And I already feel like it's a little bit slower and I regret not getting, it's just interesting. I, I, my friend has a pro. I can show you guys that one day in their shop. It cuts a lot. I just don't know what little, like at this point, what are you doing? Um... Oh, pass through giant prints with pass through. This has a 12 inch pass through slot. Okay, so you can put longer things in there. Oh, and you can't do glass. I don't know. This is so, it is, it is, this is an interesting machine and it is an interesting choice. And I'm a little bit uh, in shock. I would need the tray size, but I will tell you, when I first got in the mail, it was a little bit bigger than I expected. This is not a tiny machine. This takes up about two thirds of your normal dining table. So, it really just depends what you're using it for. I hope that was helpful. Again, hey, like this channel. If you're anything interested in Glowforge crafts, you just need something to play in the background, a small business, make sure you ring the bell to find out if I actually get to test out one of these in action. Um, and yeah, comment down below if you need anything. If you made it to the end of the video, put the little fire emoji again. Every time you interact with this channel, a fairy gets its wings because we are a small team of two people, but we're really grateful that you're here. I hope this was helpful and I will catch you next time.